So Bob, what do you get when you cross an industry-leading manufacturer of LEDs in a robust module? Hmm, I don't know Marty, what do you get? You get another Brightway Supply product review video. All right. So today we're going to talk about modules, LED modules in specific. Now, LED modules are not new to the sign industry. They've been lighting channel letters like these with LEDs for more than a decade. This is an early LED module, and as you can see, it's just made up of discrete through-hole LEDs. Uh, these were rather expensive, uh, not very bright, and they didn't tend to focus the light, which caused hot spotting on the plex and other surfaces. Um, However, they did save a tremendous amount of energy over neon uh, tubing that was used in these letters, about 80%. So, moving forward in time, we now see modules that use surface mount LEDs. These LEDs are much brighter, they're white, uh, still no lensing, however, they were much lower in cost and the efficiency in lumens per watt continued to go up. Passing through the evolution, we started to see different shapes of modules, and we've tested many of them here at Brightway Supply. This module introduced the idea of lensing to the marketplace. This attempted to spread the light to try and even it out on surfaces like a plex or if you had an under cabinet thing, to spread the light from a single LED and give you a more uniform module. The evolution in the last few years has just been incredible with modules. They seem to be advancing every six months. It does, and, and by all means today, state of the art, while there are still many modules that aren't lensed out there, you're seeing the evolution of the lens technology and the cost come down on these to the point today that it really only makes sense to be using modules with lenses. And today we're going to talk about NC LED. We've got two great new products from NC, and we want to tell you all about them. And that's, I believe, what we've got lit up here, correct? It Marty? is. So tell me what you like about NC LED. So what I like about NC LED is they're really easy to work with. They're very fast in responding to uh, our re our requests for different types of products and samples and uh, uh, all the information we need to make sure we're supplying a good product. So do you know whose LED chip is actually in these modules, Mark? This is a Samsung LED chip used in, uh, used in NC's uh, modules, and it is top of the line. It's a fantastic LED, very, very bright, very efficient. So Bob, how do they keep the color consistent on these modules? Well, we were able to buy these modules binned. Uh, today, the two popular colors from NC are 9500 Calvin and 6500 Calvin, although they are expanding that 6800 Calvin in some product lines and continuing to add colors. So what two products do we have available today? Well, today we have a, a 0.72 watt module and also a 1.2 uh, these are kind of becoming industry standard values. Uh, there's plenty of other suppliers that offer those same two uh, wattage ranges. The 0.72 is a medium brightness uh, module that's great for channel letters. or Very efficient for yep, power. Yep, and 1.2 watt gives you more punch, uh, 186 lumens per foot. Great, and, and so the other thing that's really nice about these is they do have a physical mounting and they work with our uh, Brightway Supply LED rail. Yes, absolutely. So if you don't have structure, if you, again, you know, talking with the sign guys, if you're trying to illuminate a, a big cabinet sign, uh, obviously you replace something like a fluorescent tube. Uh, that rail provides the structure that the tube would and it allows you to easily put those together. And we sell those up to eight feet in length. The other thing you mentioned is this is a lens module, and this is very common nowadays, so it's a 140 degree viewing angle, great for uh, narrow uh, returns, such as three inch returns. That's right, you can get this very close to the plex face in these channel letters and without hot spotting, uh, as you said, up to three inches, uh, only three inches from the surface, and it will still disperse the light very, very well. And that also gives you the ability to space the rows of LEDs further apart, which means less LEDs, less power, more savings. It does, and in a cabinet sign where you may be using this type of uh, structure, you have great ability to spread those LEDs or bring them closer together depending on whether your customer is looking for a brighter sign or perhaps a little bit lower cost and lower power sign.
Yep, and the other really good thing with this product, IP68 modules. These are really suited for wet, damp, or dry locations. They can be mounted exterior, so if you've got a, uh, a halo lit sign, it could be on the outside without any protective cover on it. That's right, and 50,000 hour L70, which means obviously uh, that you won't see degradation of light output for the first 50,000 hours of operation and it doesn't mean that you will see much after that but uh, they are guaranteed uh, for at least 50,000 hours at the brightness that you see today. Yep and these are very economical so they start at less than 50 cents a module which is really less than a dollar a foot um, and with that being said eh, there are a few downsides not many though. No, I mean, I mean, it is amazing today that you can buy an LED module for less than 50 cents with the lens. But, you know, these are constant voltage modules, uh, which I still prefer, but uh, they are sensitive to wire length and, and you can have uh, some difficulties uh, if you have very long runs. And we'll talk about that for some installation tips on, on how to avoid those issues. Um, you know, the other thing is you mentioned a 50,000 hour L70 rating. It's really on the low end of the spectrum. It's kind of the guaranteed minimum these days, but for the cost, you really can't beat it. No, and, and, and that, to be honest, when LEDs first entered the scene of lighting and, and actual signage, 50,000 hours was deemed a, a lifetime uh, forever, you know, 20 years of an average operation of a sign. Today, LED technology has continued to uh, improve, and so have the L over 70. So I agree, 50,000 hours may be a little bit on the low side, but you're still looking at 10, 15, years 20 years. Years of service, yes. years of service. Mm -hmm. The only other thing I'd nitpick about this is the connections made to the wire. It's a molded module, and the connections made to the wire are with a screw doing insulation displacement. Most other modules tend to have a soldered connection here, but they also cost more. This is a pretty good trade-off since you're in an IP68 module. Yes, and while these wires are easy to separate, we have seen some customers uh, like to have modules with individual wires so that you don't have to do the separation. Sometimes if you're trying to cut them, uh, you may nick a wire. Yep. So uh, as far as installation, um, you know, for a 60 watt supply with the one watt modules, you're really looking at a maximum of 50 modules and you don't want to string more than 25 modules uh, in a row. You want to break that up so you're feeding two 25 module strings. Uh, you're limited to uh, 60 modules for the 0.72 watt. Right, and again that's mainly due to the wire size and the fact that they're constant voltage. The power supply could actually drive a little bit more, but it, it, we tell our customers to take the string that they want to power and cut it in the center and attach the power supply there. Yep. The other thing is you have two mounting uh, options with this. You have the 3M VHB tape, which is uh, very popular, very strong, and for colder weather or dirty installations, you can also use the number four screw hole attachment there and uh, with a number four self-tapping screw and mount it that way. And I see in our in our test rail that we're showing, we've put a screw in every single module. I, I see uh, some of my customers stretching these out and putting a screw every third module and using the tape. You know, it's really up to you. Yep, and then sometimes you may want to put a bead of silicone on there as well. Um, so that's kind of it for the tips on installation and an overview of the module. Really a great module for the price. It absolutely is. I, I don't think there's anything on the market that can beat it today. Uh, again, you get a high lumen module with a Samsung LED and a lens. Uh, just a very, very good combination. And we've had, uh, we've sold a lot of these here uh, and uh, have had absolutely no returns. Well, thanks for watching another Brightway uh, product review video. As usual, if you have any comments, feel free to post those and uh, give us a call, order some LEDs. Yep, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.